Welcome to 2021, everyone. Check out this recent headline news from London, England. London University students banned Jews and whites from meeting. As this person aptly tweeted, quote, Jews and white people were banned from a student meeting at Goldsmith University of London that discussed defending Palestine. Read that and then read it again. 2021 and Jews and whites are banned from a meeting on a university campus. That's horrendous. What's going on? So, as one of the Jewish students on campus succinctly explained in that article, when describing the frustration and sadness regarding the ever-growing hostile environment on that campus, and I quote, As a Jewish community, we are not included. We are pushed to the side and somehow portrayed as a privileged and superior people. We are just regular people, end quote. Now, that incident was not discrimination by the university, but by the students of the university. However, that incident is just the tip of the iceberg of what's going on. Wait until you hear about the blatant Jew hatred in academia by the universities via their course materials. Don't go away. Jew hatred is booming on university campuses in the West. It is an extremely sad sign of the downward spiral of the freedom-loving world. Because anyone who follows history knows that they always come for the Jews first. And then the discrimination and hatred continues from there to other populations. Basically, the Jews are the canary in the coal mine. So anyone who wants to save themselves, even if they're not Jewish, must be active and vocal against the growing Jew hatred in our midst today. So, getting back to the growing Jew hatred in academia, I want to share with you a recent thread of tweets by someone who is very vocal online on this topic. She goes by the name of Chloe. And this is what Chloe tweeted. What does anti-Semitism in academia look like, you ask? Well, here are a few quotes from my undergraduate course material at a UK university. Number one, despite Zionism's chronic addiction to territorial expansion, Israel's borders do not preclude the option of removal. It's surprising that a nation that has driven so many of its original inhabitants into the sand should express fear of itself being driven into the sea. That's from a textbook. Total propaganda. And totally against Jews without context, without facts, nothing. Well, let's go to number two. Thus, it is significant that the feminized, finance-oriented, or for that matter, wandering Jew of European anti-Semitism should assert an aggressively masculine agricultural self-identification in Palestine. Really? Oh my God, the disgusting progressive agenda just seeps through that text of the textbook material that she's given in the course. It's just mind-boggling. Number three. Zionist law enforcement tactics like tear gas and rubber bullets are being used against the small community of organizers and activists here in San Diego, tested on Palestinians by Israel and deployed on black and brown bodies by the United States. That is horrific. That's these textbooks being used as propaganda to tie BLM agenda with the anti-Israel Palestine agenda. It is absolute insanity. That's what they're being taught. And another one. Number four, an analysis of the gendered, r racialized, capitalist, colonial project of the Israeli state must remain at the center of emancipatory knowledge and the theorizing of feminist solidarity. Total progressive, horrendous agenda. So Chloe tweeted many more examples as well, but you get the point. She then ended her tweet storm with this final point. Quote, students are given propaganda, not scholarship justified by administrations and departments because it appears in peer-reviewed publications, end quote. Well, we see what peer review actually is worth. And she hits the nail on the head. We are talking about university, academia-sanctioned, Jew hatred peddled as scholarship, yet it all really is just propaganda from the left. How are students on campus supposed to deal with this? How are Jewish or pro-Israel students supposed to excel in such courses with such propaganda from the professors? Forget about all of the students will be brainwashed from it because they don't know better. And how in the world are university students supposed to come out of university more enriched and educated if all they are given is this leftist ideological propaganda? Well, we all know that unfortunately over the decades, universities in the West have turned into propaganda factories of the progressive left. 
out to destroy the freedom-loving world as we know it by corrupting the youth in universities. Whether pushing through their racial agenda, their transgender agenda, or their anti-Jewish, anti-Israel agenda, it's all on the table. My advice? Well, first of all, it is becoming more accepting that not every profession necessitates going to university anymore. So, if a potential university student doesn't have to go to this propaganda university world, then don't have them go there. For those who do have to go to your university for a degree that's necessary for their profession, then they should try their best to stay away from any of the courses that are all just leftist propaganda. I know it's not always possible, hence I say to try your best. For those who must go to those courses because they are mandatory, well, if it is impossible to call out the lies in the curriculum, then lay low and play innocent. Just ask innocent, logical questions that call out the lies in an innocent way that other students can realize that they are being lied to by the agenda-driven professors. Not to argue, but just to innocently raise the logical questions that call out the holes in their theories to make other students think and doubt the professors. In the meantime, each and every one of us, Jew and non-Jew, must call out the growing Jew hatred popping up around us because they are after all of us. And if we don't nip it in the bud now, they will succeed in coming after all of us. Pulse of Israel, frontline videos from the Holy Land. Support our work by donating today.